Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day today. So for today's video, I have a fun one. So I love doing videos where you guys are also involved. So I let you guys over on Instagram pick out my makeup routine. I give you a few different options. And yeah, this is gonna be all the results of that. So let's keep this intro nice and short and sweet. Leave a like if you enjoy videos like this. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss when I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Saturday. And do me a favor and leave a comment. Leave like a little heart or something in the comments for me. And with all that being said, let's just get straight on into it. So I've zoomed you guys in and I have already done my eyebrows and concealed for eyeshadow because we're gonna do eyes first because I asked you guys to pick between a neutral palette and a colorful palette and the colorful palette won by a landslide, by the way. So because we're playing with color, I'm definitely gonna do eyes first. So the palette that I put in the picture was this one. So I am gonna use this palette. And I think I'm going to do like a pink and purple look because I don't think I've ever done that before. So wish me luck with that. I'm just first of all going to set my brow bone down to like my crease. Just because I don't plan on putting too much eyeshadow up here anyway. And it will give the coloured shadows something to blend into. So the first shade I'm going to go in with is this one here, which is like a very bright pink it's called make them wink and i'm just gonna take it on like a small in between of like a fluffy and a dense brush and i'm just gonna start working that on the inner corner i have no idea what actual vibe i'm going for today i am just completely winging it so <laughs> this should be very interesting just gonna keep building that color up until I'm happy with it. Okay, and I'm not gonna focus on blending that out yet. Now I'm gonna do the outer corner of my eye because I think I know what I wanna do. I wanna do like pink, shimmer in the middle, and then a purple wing. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to take this purple here. If I'm not too keen on this one, I'm going to go on with this one. But this is the one I want to use, which is called Modern Way. And I'm just going to pop that on my outer corner. Just start to wing that out. I'm a fan of them two colors together, you know? So now I'm just gonna take some of the white and I'm just gonna di diffuse out the edges of each shade. So I've been sat here debating for a while on the shimmer that I wanna use. I think I'm gonna take this one here which is called Fairy Tale. It's like a lilac shimmer. I was gonna do pink, but I feel like lilac might just go a little bit better. I'm hoping. If, if not, I'll add a little bit of pink to it, but I'm gonna go in with this one. Now I have some pretty long nails on at the moment. So hopefully I can still get a decent application. <laughs> I think that was the right call. I really like how that looks. I'm just gonna take the brush I used for the pink shade and I'm just gonna flick some more of that pigment in towards the shimmer. I'm not taking any extra pigment, I'm just taking what's left over on the brush. Just like so, and then I'm gonna do the same on the purple side too. So here's what the eyes are currently looking like. I really, really like how they turn out. I'm gonna add a little bit of eyeshadow underneath on my lower lash line once I've done the rest of my face, but so far so good. 
So next up we have skin, which is my favorite step anyway. So for foundation, I ask you guys to pick between a full coverage foundation and a more light to medium coverage foundation. And just before I started filming this video, it was at a 50-50. So I've put my own two cents in and I've chose to go for a full coverage foundation because I just feel like it's gonna go with the eyes a bit better. And yeah, that is why. So the foundation in question was the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation, which I did use to go out for my birthday and it never lets me down guys it just never lets me down so i'm gonna go in with this first i always first apply this with a brush just to get the coverage down and then i go over it with a sponge just to shear it down a little bit not too much and it also helps to get rid of like any brush strokes or anything i had to shut my window because somebody's dog no joke has been barking for about 25 minutes now and i can't wait for it to shut up or its owners to stop it barking so i had to shut my window because that other dog was barking as well my dog had started barking like back at the other dog so i've had to bring my dog in because she started barking and she wasn't listening either so I just decided to bring her in because no one wants to listen to a dog barking constantly <laughs> in the garden. So I brought her in for a little bit for her to calm down. I should have definitely took this jumper off before I started filming. I really don't want to get like a foundation on it or anything. <laughs> um, I got it for my birthday. Kane got it me. And yeah, I really, really like it. So I don't want to get like makeup all over it. I definitely should have took it off. So now that that's all over my skin, I'm just going to go in with my sponge. I've always liked doing my makeup like this. I like going in with the brush first and then going over with the sponge. One, because then I feel like the sponge picks up like excess product that might be like sitting on the skin that's not quite blended in two it gets rid of any brush strokes that might have been left and three i just feel like it helps to push the product into the skin a bit better you know okay the skin is looking great but honestly i didn't expect anything less anyway i love that foundation so now it's time for bronzer and i'm so excited for this bit so we had another 50 50 so i asked you guys to pick between something new and something old now i got a new bronzer for my birthday and i've been so excited to try it and i've not tried it yet and that is the makeup by mario soft sculpt transforming skin enhancer and mine is in the shade light medium i'm hoping it's not going to be too dark um but yeah it was another 50 50 and i wanted to try something new guys so i've gone for something new and i'm so excited i don't even think you guys understand i really 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 wanted to use this on my birthday but i was like don't risk it you don't know how it's gonna like one react on your skin work with the other products so i refrained myself but this is gonna be my first time using it so i'm just gonna use it like how i use everything else oh that's a really nice shade you know oh i feel like i might have took a little bit too much so i'm just gonna blend on both sides yeah that that is a slay oh my god oh my god honestly look at that that shade is lovely i was a little bit scared it was going to be a little bit too dark i have to get a little bit too low on this side so i'll sort that out in a second but i was a bit scared it was going to be too dark but honestly i think it looks fine it looks darker on camera than it does in real life honestly in real life it looks really really good and obviously once I have my blush on and everything's gonna like mesh in together, I feel like this will be a really good shade for me. It's nice because it's it's warm because it's a bronzer, but it has that like cool, coolish like tone to it. I really, really like it. I mean, on my forehead, you can kind of see that it's not as dark as it's looking on my cheek. I really, really like it. On... Um, the camera is really throwing me off because it looks like quite a harsh line but in real life it doesn't look like that so i don't know why it's coming across like that on camera 
oh my god i can't wait to use that more i'm so excited so far so god um loving it so far we'll see how it wears so then i asked you to pick between a pink blush or a more peachy blush now you guys chose peachy now thinking about it with the eyes pink would have been an absolute slay but you guys chose peachy so i'm gonna go with what you guys chose they were both made by mitchell blushers so i think it was sweet cheeks and then this one is melon sorbet so it's like that peachy orange shade hopefully it doesn't clash with the eyes i'm trying to find my brush there we go usually i have my brushes a bit close i don't know why i've left them over there okay please don't clash with the eyes mm, i think we're gonna clash guys ah, i hope not oh i think that's clashing i'm not sure i'll see once i've set it down and i've like got my concealer on and it mutes it down a little bit but i feel like that is quite a clash of colors which would be such a shame like i said i will see what it looks like once we've got the concealer on so the concealer i asked you guys to pick between a hydrating concealer and a matte concealer and thank goodness you guys picked the hydrating concealer because i was so nervous for the matte one so that was the nyx uh bear with me concealer serum i really really like this as you can probably tell i actually need to pick another one up <laughs> But this will still last me a while because I use like so little. I use like half a pump. I don't really use a whole ton of concealer anymore. I really need to bring my brushes closer. Um, where is my concealer brush, please? Okay, so the way I've been doing concealer is a little bit different. I'm not sure if I've shown you guys. So I take my concealer on like a flat brush and I pop it on my inner corner and on the outer corner also and obviously i have a wing today so i'm also gonna you know straighten up that wing a little bit so same on this side i'm just gonna quickly clean up these wings So now I actually take a concealer brush. So this is literally a concealer buffer. It's a Zoeva brush. And I just pat and like bounce in the area where I've put the concealer. And then once I've got most of that coverage where I want it to be, I take the rest of the concealer that's left on the brush and I just run it through the middle of my eye so that i don't get too much concealer in the actual middle of my eye obviously i pull the absolute sexiest faces when i do this as well and then once i have most of the concealer kind of where i want it i do just go in with a sponge and just help to blend out a tiny bit this also will help to pick up any excess concealer or anything like that so yeah now i didn't ask you guys to pick a powder so i'm quickly gonna put my camera on charge because she is flashing at me and yeah i'm going to just quickly set my face then i'll be back to do the rest of my makeup okay so now that my face is set let's move on so i asked you guys to pick between a matte bronzer and a glowy bronzer and you guys just full scent went for the glowy bronzer so that's what I'm going to go in with. The one that I have is a BH Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer. As far as I'm aware, BH Cosmetics is no longer a thing, but it was the only glowy bronzer that I had. So this is the one we're going to use. Also, by the way, now that my face is set and whatnot, first of all, that cream bronzer I love, but I also feel like the blush isn't affecting the eyeshadow too much. I feel like it's getting so dark outside that it keeps messing up with the lighting. When I put my ring light on, it makes me like too overexposed. So, not ideal. Okay, so far so good, you guys. Honestly, so far you've done amazing. My makeup is looking so good. 
So let's move on to blush. So again, I asked you guys to pick between a pinky blush and a peachy blush and you guys chose peachy. Now the blush that you guys chose was Milani Luminoso. So I am just hoping and praying that this doesn't ruin the look. I don't think it will. Hopefully the color doesn't froth the eyes too much. Let's do this. Now, don't get me wrong, I love this blush. One of my favorite blushes has been for years, but it's not the kind of blush I would go in with for this particular look. It's just kind of looking glowy on camera. Do you know what? I don't hate it, you know? Guys? Okay, why is this all coming together? Okay, okay. Let's quickly finish off with the powders. So next up was highlighter and I gave you guys the option of a more golden highlighter and like a more pinky champagne. And you guys went with a pinky champagne. Now, I don't often use highlighter when I use Milani Luminoso and I'm hoping these two aren't gonna clash because Luminoso has like that little bit of like a, like a goldish highlight to it. So I'm hoping this is going to look okay. Why has it got so dark all of a sudden? I really want to plug my ring light in, but I know it's just going to wash me out. Okay, here we go with the highlighter. Oh yeah, by the way, the highlighter you guys uh, picked was the Nabla one. I feel like because I didn't ask you guys to pick actual products, I asked you guys to pick like between like colors and finishes and stuff. I haven't really been mentioning the products too much, but yeah. Okay, that's nice. Bit more glowy than I go for nowadays, but the colors aren't clashing so far from what I can see. Okay guys, I'm just quickly gonna finish highlighting my face and I'm gonna set my ring light up because it's just a little bit too dark for me. Okay, hopefully that looks okay. I think I found like a happy medium. So now that my face is all done like powder wise, I'm just gonna set my face. I didn't ask you guys to pick a setting spray, but this one is a new one that I recently picked up. So this is the e.l.f. Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray. And I just wanna try this out. Okay, it has a super fine mister, which I love. And I mean, my skin does look nice. Hopefully it helps with like longevity too. It is a dewy setting spray, but hopefully it has like a little bit of grip to it. I mean, it, it is called Power Grip, so hopefully. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a tiny bit of eyeshadow under my eyes. Um, let me just get a brush quickly. Obviously, I'm just gonna use the same shades that I used on my eyes. I'm just gonna take my small powder brush that I used to set around like my eyebrows and stuff and I'm just gonna blend out the edges of the eyeshadow just because I don't really want to take too much powder under my eyes so I'm just gonna use what's left on this brush to help blend out these edges yeah I feel like that done the trick oh I love this eyeshadow look what the heck okay I'm just quickly gonna do um so mascara and also a lip i completely forgot to get you guys to pick out a lip so i think i'm just gonna put a nude on like a nude gloss or something like that um but yeah and then i'll be back and i'll show you the finished look okay so this is the finished look that you guys created i think you absolutely smashed it i love how my makeup looks today i have got to go and do the school run and i am gonna look just a little bit crazy but Oh well, <laughs> I really, really like how it all 
turned out let me know what you think as always if you do want to be involved in videos like this make sure you are following my instagram which i will leave on screen i always leave all my socials down below if you want to see a little bit more of me by the way i am posting all the time on tiktok at the minute so go follow me on there as well i'll leave my out on the screen for that as well but again that will be in the description as well if you enjoyed this video please leave a like it really really does help me out leave a comment down below like i said just comment anything comment like a little heart emoji or something uh because that would really really help me out and yeah don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss when i post new videos every monday wednesday and saturday i hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day and i will see you in the next one bye guys i'm actually obsessed i love how this turned out today <laughs>